We are doing a different kind of special episode today because there's something very timely going on. So Real Watchlist Plus is going to do a deep dive into something that's happening in the news. But wait, Deb, this is Bond, James Bond, and we're here to talk about 007 on the Real Watchlist Plus. Taylor Johnson is reportedly rumored to be offered a contract for the new Bond movie. Aaron Taylor Johnson is a hottie. Oh my God. Well, I looked at his picture and he had like, I don't want to say baby fat, but his face was rounder. And now he's getting into the Bond mode and he's a Brit. He's chiseled. Mm -hmm. He's going to be some unbelievable Bond. Oh my God. And you know, the whole era of the 60s, um, came about of a new spy genre mm. because of James Bond. Oh gosh, and yes. because of Ian Fleming. Truthfully, Ian Fleming was a, a British guy, of course, and he started an operation, a spy operation, to infiltrate in World War II the Nazis. And guess what it was called? Operation Goldeneye. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he spoke, I think, four or five languages, and he uh, did this whole thing of spies. And after working with all the spies, in um, in British Secret Service, mm -hmm. he decided he was going to have an amalgam of all these spies and create James Bond. Right, he almost created the figure around what he would have, what he lo would love to be, like. He kind of envisioned himself as this super spy. He didn't have the looks. He didn't have the, right. you know, he was married, you know, <laughs> something that he could never attain. So he created this character based on, I, I'll say, like a fantasy of what he wished he could be. Right. You know what else he wrote? You'll die when you hear this. Oh, I know. I know. Chitty, chitty, chitty bang, bang, bang. Can you imagine? And he wrote it while he was in the hospital. He had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And during his recuperation period, they offered him this opportunity to write a children's book. Before we go on further, what is it? What is this here? Well, what are we this doing? Is here, we're going to be doing a little toast to our new potentially Bond pick. We're going to be toasting Ian Fleming mm -hmm. and we're going to be toasting James Bond. So and why are we here with martini glasses? Because James Bond was known for his martinis that were shaken, shaken not, not stirred. stirred. So, I'm not into hard liquor, just champagne, but darling, should I stick my tongue in it or take a real sip? Take a sip. Let me try a tongue. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers, dear. I don't think any of the Bond girls closed one eye when they took a sip like that. Well, uh, there's different elements of Bond. So, if unless you were on a turnip truck or locked in a closet oh or a Skinner's box. You have to know about Bond. Right. So let's start I mean, I with- say, I need to interrupt because I will say I was in a closet for a long time, but I still knew about the Bond film. So not all closet- You look through the keyhole? <laughs> I looked through the keyhole <laughs> and saw Sean Connery. I think I'm liking this. So let's talk about who our favorites were. So I love Daniel Craig. You know, I it's know not what you but Daniel Craig, my heart beats for you. And my drink spill for you too. My second most favorite, Sean Connery, the original Bond. Mm -hmm. Furry chest, long legs. And if you go into the films, 60s fashions, the men wore shorts like real high. So he did portray that English, sexy, yeah. sophistication, right. kind of like a little dark, but always charming at the same time. Well, I loved Sean Connery and I had a poster of him on my wall. I even had the 007 attache briefcase when I was a kid. Yeah, no. no, I wish I saved it. It'd probably be worth money now. But uh, I hey, love Sean you. Connery. Where are you going? I'm way I don't stuff. leave again. I like <laughs> the whole aspect of Bond where he's like a lady killer. He'll kiss you and then he'll turn you around and get a bullet in your back to save himself. He's cold, he's calculating. 
He's an opportunist. Yeah. He's suave. He knows everything. He's an intellectual. He's and I like Daniel Craig that way, too. He was kind of mean, and he wasn't a conventional, handsome person. Right. But he had that Steve McQueen-esque tough mm -hmm. guy, like he didn't want to monkey with him. Now, it's funny you mention that, because in Timothy Dalton, even though he was short-lived Bond, was criticized because not so much him, but maybe the film itself, the storyline, was a little bit dark. And yeah. people didn't like a dark Bond. But Daniel Craig pretty much did that for yeah, most of his did. films. And I guess the timing was right for Daniel Craig and Timothy But Dalton, Roger I Moore, too. although I loved him as the saint, he was a saint, he which was, was a great episode. A saint, right? And he's a good looking guy. Aged, I thought he was too silly. He aged poorly. But well, he was too, kind of too old to play Bond almost. He was, actually, he was the oldest Bond to be cast. Mm -hmm. And Sean Connery was picked because he was actually, he had been in a couple of films. Um, but he was Mr. Universe. But do you know that he wore a toupee? Yes. For, throughout his Bond movies? If you were a fan and you had his poster on your wall, as I did, mm -hmm. I followed him right to Never Say Never Again, which is really not considered a real Bond film. No. Did you know that? I did know that. Matter of fact, he was pissed off. And Sean Connery is always pissed off. Yeah, I found he true. wasn't the most pleasant person <laughs> on the planet. But he broke away. Now we're jumping all over the place because Bond is so, it gets us excited. It gets me yeah, excited. Yeah, you get a little crazy. Right? And yeah. in the 60s, mm -hmm. Bond created a whole new genre of spy films, a whole new following. Right. I mean, you go through the Bonds. Now, there was another Bond in the 60s. George which, Lazenby. Yes. Yeah, so J George Lazenby. Nobody liked that. I actually thought he was okay. You and I are like, if, if, you, I maybe it was when you were growing up, these maybe weird... Then puberty things I, you had. I'm still in puberty. I well, he was actually, they're all good. I mean, nobody stinks at Bond, except maybe David Niven in the original oh, Casino David Niven. That was Royale. When I didn't know better, I thought that was, was a Bond movie, but it was a Bond parody. Yes, it was a spoof. But we all thought it was a Bond mm -hmm. movie because they didn't, I don't know, maybe we were too little to know parody or so, so we were demented or something. So 60s, Bonds, Sean Connery. Right. My all-time favorite, the first one, Dr. No. That is my second favorite. Really? What's yes. your first favorite? Well, Goldfinger. Goldfinger. You know what? He's the man, the man with the mindless touch. A spider's touch. La, 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 la. And who sang Goldfinger? Shirley Bassey, one of my singing idols. And she oh. also sang Diamonds Are Forever, 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 forever and Ever, and Ever. There you go. Do you know who I am? You're Debbie Higgins. No, I, I'm going to have, have <laughs> Wait you guess. Because you Why always, you right, up? you always make me guess. I, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to make you guess. I'm, and yours are so simple <laughs> that a kindergartner could figure this out. I'm awful clumped because we're talking about Henry Cahill and Aaron Taylor Johnson and Daniel. What the hell? Oh, oh wait, wait, other way. I know who you are. You're Money Penny. Nope. Who are you? I fooled you. You did. I am M, the boss. I'm the boss. You're M. I'm M. I'm M, which was played Which by is? Judy Dent. Yes. Judy Dench. Yes. And she was great. Sean Connery did six films. David Niven, one. George Lazenby, one. Mm -hmm. Roger Moore, seven. He did the most, right? Yeah. Timothy Dalton, one. Pierce Brosnan, four. And Daniel Craig, five. Why do you think Timothy Dalton did two? Oh, I have it down as one. But you might be right. P.A., can you tell us who's right? Well, we'll put it down. He's probably Joe because he's, <laughs> he had a crush on him or something, so he knows these things. Two, two Bond movies. Maybe it was two, and I think you're right. I think Lazenby was the only one who did one. Yeah! I looked at one of the CBS polls, God forbid, but that's what I found. And the number one, guess who the number one is with the public? That's not hard. Sean, Sean Connery? You said it. Well, yes. he created the role. And guess who's number two? Don't say Roger Moore. <laughs> Roger Moore. Oh, my God. But you know what? It's when people grew up. I mean, and when you went to see him in the movies. And another favorite, guess who's the favorite of women? Daniel Craig. Nope. <gasps> Not Pierce Bronson. Yep. Oh. And I guess it's because of Remington Steele. They got used to him on Remington Steele. But to me, I love Pierce Bronson. I think he's a really cool guy. I got in the whole thing where his wife died, and I felt bad yeah. for him and all that. But... He's too effeminate and slight. I like a tough bond that's going to like yeah, punch you chest, and then though. take you to bed and go wild on you. That's what I like. Daddy. Well, you know. I am a poor. I'm an old wildcat, baby. And I'm listening, too. Yeah, I'm an old wildcat. <laughs> yeah. And you know what's making me a wildcat? 
What? You're freaking Vespers. Oh, I'm yes. telling you. It's unbelievable. What was your best song? Well, the theme song to James Bond, you, you can't say anything but that's number one. If you're counting that as number one, that's the theme song. That is a song. You hear it. Everyone knows it's a Bond movie. It's recognizable worldwide. Um, my second favorite would be Goldfinger. Finger. So we, we agree on that 100 yes. percent. And I do like You Only Live Twice, too. I love that. And Nancy Sinatra sings it. It's a beautiful song. But the Bond songs are very, very important. And we heard them more on the radio. Three. We don't. My Three. third. You're your third. My third. What is it? Live and let die. Bond. Bond. Live and let die. Okay. Now, who is your favorite Bond villain? Goldfinger. Auric Goldfinger. Right. Or Auric or Ori? Auric. 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 And it was made by Gert Frobe. Yes, and this classic scene when Bond is tied up, Sean Connery's tied up, and the laser beam is oh, going yeah. through the, between his legs and up, Bond says, you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. True. Love it. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. You know who I liked? I liked Dr. No, and it was played by Joseph really? Wiseman. I thought he was great. The hand thing? Yeah, but it was so cool. Uh, and another one was Blofeld, who was played by yes. two characters, but actually Austin Powered co copied him for, you know, Man of Mystery. Oh, Austin Powered, yes. Yeah, it's hysterical. Mm -hmm. And the cat. The cat was the big deal, the cat. What were your favorite girls, your Bond girls? <laughs> Pussy galore. Yeah, that's number one. <laughs> Honor Blackman played Pussy Glore, and of course the double entendre with the word, which was so funny, and she was just great. She could fly a plane and make love and the same thing. She could make love on the plane while flying it. And she could put James Bond in his place. She it. could. And also, from Dr. No, Help me. Ursula Andress. Oh, Ursula, yes. Came up on the beach, mm -hmm. out of the water with yes. a bikini with a knife with in a it, knife and she was just gorgeous. Let me interject, folks. 007, the two O's mean he has a license to kill. License to kill, that's right. Oh my God, I forgot. And where did James Bond's name come from? I don't know, Joe. Ian Fleming wanted to find a very dull and boring name. So he was also a bird watcher. And there was this well-known, renowned bird watcher named James Bond. Really? I love the name. And I don't think it's a boring name. I guess because it's so iconic, we just, re as soon as we say the name, we think of these beautiful men mm -hmm. that are just like, wow. I think the most iconic Bond film is Goldfinger, 1964, with Sean Connery. If you see any one Bond film, that's the one to see. And a little taste of Roger Moore, The Spy Who Loved Me from 1977, and you can see Roger Moore. And he's singing the song in the background. And then if you want to see Pierce Brosnan, I'm going through all the bonds. Mamma Mia. Goldeneye, oh please. Goldeneye in 1995 is Pierce Brosnan. The best Daniel Craig film, and you might want to fight with me, but I don't care, I'm M, I will Say fire it. you and extinguish you, is Skyfall. No, no. Well, you can interject, but I'm telling them what to see no. because Skyfall 2012 with your boyfriend, Daniel Craig. And number five, I have to put Connery in it again, Dr. No, with Sean Connery from 1962. Cheers. And hope you liked our deep dive into James Bond. And oh, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> anyway, and we hope you like the James Bond deep dive because we were... We wanted to do it so badly, and we hope you like the new film that comes out, and hopefully he will sign that contract. So until next time, we'll see you again.